Hi guys, Ali Taylor here, and today I'm gonna to give you a great fix and feel for how to stop your early extension in your golf swing. Right then guys, so we could see with that first swing there, definitely I'm early extending, but what is early extension? Chances are if you're watching this video, you're someone who either knows they early extend, thinks they early extend, or have been told they early extend. So what I'm gonna do in today's video is I'm gonna run through what early extension is, what extension is, because it's actually a good thing and it is something you've ha you have to have in your golf swing. We just need to make sure it's happening at the right time. I'm gonna give you a great little drill, a great little feeling on how you're gonna stop that and it's really gonna help you improve your ball striking, your distance, and your accuracy to just help you hit more great golf shots. Right then guys, so one of the biggest issues in golf and faults that I see in the golf swing is early extension. Now there's a good chance if you're watching this video, you're somebody that struggles with it. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is what is early extension? what is causing early extension, and then I'm gonna give you a great fix on how we're gonna stop your early extension. Right, so when we get into our address position, if we were to draw a line, just touching kind of the back of our pelvis, what we would see with somebody who early extends predominantly is that as they start their downswing, the hips move towards the target, the body lifts up, the legs straighten, and it makes it incredibly difficult to start controlling the path of the club, what the club face is doing, and maintain any kind of solid strike on the golf ball. Now, this in itself is a great video for me because I've always struggled with early extension, and technically with me, I actually already start early extending as I'm getting to the top of my backswing and then it gets worse. So when you look face on, from down the line it's very obvious you see the pelvis going that way, but some of the other issues that that early extension causes is as you're moving nearer the golf ball, the body can't turn out the way, so the body stalls, we release the club a little bit earlier to get to the golf ball. And the reason for that, and this is where a lot of golfers really, really struggle with contact, is if I set up to the golf ball here, we can see my spine angle. And we're not saying we want that to be exactly the same impact, but as I start down, as I move nearer, and my upper body extends and gets further from the golf ball, I need to make sure I can get that club head down to the golf ball. And the only way I can do that is to extend that right arm earlier, release the club earlier to actually make that distance from there to there as long as possible to get back to the golf ball. Now, extension in your golf swing is something that definitely should happen. And what we're talking about is when we get into our dress position, extension of the body is going that way. So certainly as we swing through, even the top players in the world, you will see them hit the ball and then you will see extension. So extension is a great thing to have in the golf swing. The part of this lesson that we're talking about is that we're extending too early in the golf swing. So what you would see is those top players, as they're swinging down, they get into impact, and then we start to see that extension, where for a lot of golfers, it's happening too early. We're releasing the club early, flicking, topping, hooking, pushing. I've got all those shots. Maybe not the top, but certainly for me, my bad ones, historically have been a little push, hook, or certainly a bit thin with the irons. So this is something I'm continuously working on. And I do think it's one of those things that if you don't continue to work on it, your body reverts to pattern very, very quickly. So now we've established what early extension is, let's now talk about how we're gonna stop early extension and really get you hitting some great golf shots. So the beauty with golf 
is it's one of those games where if you understand what you're doing and what you're feeling, very often working on the opposite will actually help. So we know in the golf swing, we would love to feel that the body keeps turning out of the way. And it is something that we see all those great ball strikers do. But it's very, very hard when your body's going that way to turn. So we know in early extension, once we get to the top of the swing, and I probably need to work on this a little bit in, as I'm getting to the top of my swing. As we get to the top of the swing, everything's pretty good. As we start down, the hips move towards the ball, the chest moves up, and the legs straighten. So if we know the chest's moving away from the golf ball and the legs are straightening, what I want us to work on is feeling the opposite. So we're gonna to swing to the top, and once we get here, we're gonna go more over towards the golf ball and flex the knees more. Now, if you're somebody like me, this'll feel very, very strange to begin with. I'm pretty sure when I start doing it on camera, you'll actually say it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna move the golf ball out of the way. And I'm gonna do a few slow swings first to get a feel. So from the top, I'm gonna to feel that more knee flex and that I get a bit closer to the golf ball. That feels very different for me. And then swing through. Okay, let's do a few of those. And one more. Now it's a funny sensation or a different sensation. Now definitely for me when I do this, the, the biggest thing I feel is when I do that, I actually feel my body turns out the way and my hands are very passive through impact. Now that's a really good feeling for me, particularly with that hooky one, because it is when I feel that I stand up and my hands do that, it's where I get a lot of club face rotation and I really, really struggle. I'm not saying that you're gonna feel that, you know, and I don't necessarily want you to focus on trying to feel that. I want you to focus on feeling that we have a little bit more knee flex in the downswing and that spine angle leans more down towards the golf ball. So once we can do a few practice swings, because it always feels easy with practice swings, let's hit a couple of shots a little slower to begin with, see how it feels. Great, and actually a little fade for me there, so that was quite an interesting shot, because that wouldn't be what my stock swing would be. Now that felt different, but maybe not as exaggerated as I did on the practice swings. So to the top, more knee flex and more over the golf ball. Let's go again. I definitely didn't control the club face there but that felt good. And certainly on a couple of these swings, I'll, I'll replay it in slow motion, draw that line touching my tailbone, and we'll see, even though it feels like I'm doing it, am I actually doing it? And that is always the big challenge. So let's go one more. Again, movement felt good, even if the shot wasn't quite what I'm after at the moment. Can't finish on that one there. Let's go one more again. That felt really, really good. So like I said, guys, it's not that extension is a bad thing in the golf swing. We just need to make sure it's happening at the right time in the golf swing. And if we can keep our bodies in a kind of position that gives us the opportunity to let the body turn out of the way, well then once we've hit the shot, then we can feel that extension in the body. But if you can feel that you maintain or even exaggerate that knee flex at the start of your downswing and feel that that spine angle actually gets you nearer to the golf ball, you'll be amazed how much better that body turns out of the way and really, really gonna help you stop your early extension. Right then guys, so I hope you've enjoyed that content. So like I said, extension is something that has to happen in the golf swing. We just need to make sure it's happening at the right time in the golf swing. This is something I've always struggled with and I continuously have to work on it. 
I'm probably better at it now than I've ever been, but there's still room for improvement. And if I can get that right, like with yourselves, it's gonna help me be more consistent at hitting good, accurate, powerful golf shots. And that's what we want every single time. So if you have enjoyed today's video, like it, share it, comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. Let me know after this video, have you tried it and did it make a real difference to your golf? Because that's why I make this content to help you guys play better. If you have enjoyed the video though and you don't currently subscribe, click the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.